If you're an LMS administrator and your company uses Adobe Learning Manager as their LMS, this is the video for you. A couple of years ago, my friend Damien sent me a copy of his book, Enterprise LMS with Adobe Captivate Prime. Since that time, Adobe has renamed the product to be Adobe Learning Manager. Obviously, to avoid the confusion between Adobe Captivate, the authoring tool, and Adobe Captivate Prime, the LMS. As a result of that, Damien has completely rewritten this book. And in fact, if you take a look on your screen here, you can see that uh, he sent me a PDF copy of Enterprise LMS with Adobe Learning Manager here. And it's literally the first edition. It has a lovely photograph of what I assume to be the Eiffel Tower there. <laughs> so a completely new addition for you to have. I'm going to suggest to you that you are going to read this book twice. You're going to read it the first time, especially if you're deploying a new LMS that uses Adobe Learning Manager as its back end. Uh, Adobe Learning Manager is a cloud-based learning management system, so there's less of the issues with software, installing them on a local server for you to deal with, but there's still some administrative and setup that you're going to need. And having this book on your desk will really help you out. Then it'll remain on your desk for the next several years as you solve problems and look up how to do certain things and customize your LMS the way that you want it to be. Adobe is renowned for not always having great documentation. They, they're excellent at creating software solutions. But when you go to look up something on their website or through the help files, it, it might be a little difficult to find the information that you're looking for. This book has it all. Let's take a look at what you're going to get. In part one of the book, you're going to get an introduction to Adobe Learning Manager, which includes an explanation and some details about what Adobe Learning Manager is. In part one, you'll also learn about the complete ecosystem for e-learning that's available from Adobe. And of course, getting access to Adobe Learning Manager. Hey, if you're just getting started, Damien will show you how to activate a trial account, test it out for a while, and then convert that trial account into a permanent paid account. Also, getting to know the Adobe Learning Manager is a big part of part one as well. So you'll learn how to modify your user profile, change the default language, understanding all the roles, including administrator, author and learner and manager all within the Adobe Learning Manager uh, user interface. In part two of the book, you'll learn about customizing the look and feel of Adobe Learning Manager. An LMS should reflect your corporate branding. So the goal here in this section is how you can modify the name and the subdomain uh, of your uh, Adobe Learning Manager account get the branding involved, get your logo up there, set the color themes and schemes to match what it is that you do with your, your particular organization. In part three of the book, you're gonna learn about um, how you can upload content. And of course, Adobe Captivate as an authoring tool uh, definitely comes into play here. But what's really great about Adobe Learning Manager is that you can use just about any SCORM compliant or uh, typical e-learning uh, elements. But not just that, you've got the ability to upload videos, you've got the ability to upload PDFs, you have the ability to, um, to add uh, documentation as well. And in part four of the book, you'll learn about creating skills and courses. So once you have all these modules in place, that's all well and good, but you might want to bundle them together to allow your learners to gain the skills that they need to perform their job. And that's, of course, what it's all about. This book will also help you out with managing users and enrolling learners in courses. And there's a lot of different roles. You can even learn about how to bring in external users. That's something that's always challenging with a learning management system. 
uh, enabling self-enrollment of learners is a, an important part of this book that you'll learn, of course, how you can set that up. What's really cool about Adobe Learning Manager, and this is covered in Damien's book as well, is that there's a mobile app available. So if your workforce is a workforce that's out on the road, they're mobile, they of course can access the LMS using the mobile app, which gives them a seamless experience from what they would expect to see on the desktop back in the office there. With the Adobe Learning Manager, there's something called the Fluidic Player. And in fact, recently I used Damien's book to find out how to customize the Fluidic Player. In fact, for a long time, I believed that this wasn't possible, but thanks to Damien's book, I learned the steps and procedures to customize it so that it had just the features I wanted to display and hide the features that I didn't want my, my learners to actually see. Damien's also going to teach you about the role of an instructor and how they can log into the uh, Adobe Learning Manager and access all the activities that they need for their particular role. One of the great features of Adobe Learning Manager is the ability to gather feedback. And uh, the nice thing about Adobe Learning Manager is that it gives you access to level one and level two, like most LMSs do. Level one being, of course, the what we sometimes call the smile sheets, the, you know, how was the training today? What was the environment like? Level two feedback, of course, is the assessment, you know, so we can test to see if learners have actually learned something. But the one that's often missing from LMSs is level three uh, feedback. And this is something that would go to supervisors and managers. And in this case, we wanna be able to capture that data. You know, is Johnny performing the steps that he learned in the e-learning course back on the job? That's level three. And that usually comes from management or supervisors. And of course, Damien's book outlines exactly how you do this step-by-step step and how you can run that particular report. A big part of Adobe Learning Manager is gamification. And Damien's book doesn't skip this as well, even though it's kind of a fun aspect of learning and development. Uh, but in this case here, uh, Adobe Learning Manager has the ability to allow learners to earn badges and experience a little bit of competitiveness with their colleagues over you know, what they've achieved through the, the learning management system. One of the things that Damien also covers is Adobe Learning Manager's ability to actually have um, a little bit of social learning as well through the use of things like discussion boards and uh, content moderation of those discussion boards. And he teaches you everything you need to know in this book. So Damien's promised me to get a new copy of the book to replace my old copy here. Uh, obviously, it's more than just changing the name of the book. It's a lot of the content as well because Adobe Learning Manager is constantly evolving and they're adding new features. And because it's a cloud-based solution, you automatically get those capabilities as they come out. The beauty of Enterprise LMS specifically Adobe Learning Manager, is that this is an LMS that grows with you. So, you know, if you've got even an old copy of this book here, definitely check out getting the new edition that deals with Adobe Learning Manager, not just for the rebranding purpose of it, but also to get the most up-to-date version because you want to take advantage of all those cool features. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.